Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Portal Knights. I'm going to be jumping in with uh, Kid Codifier very soon, and I'm going to turn on the uh, PS4 sound now and jump in on my mic. I've got my, my druid all ready. Looks like we're going to be doing some druid leveling up. Hmm. Hey kid, can you hear me? Yep. I'm invited to Perfect. I uh, I have the stuff for a quest. Okay. So once you I am uh, joining in right now and yep. having a couple of nuts. So once you load in, I'm gonna complete this quest. Alright. So we can get XP. So how much XP do you need to level up? I think it was about a hundred and um, eighteen hundred and eighteen thousand, something around that. So, um... all right, I'm in. Oh, so, I gotta hydrate. I'm going to do this quest. Oh, my backpack's full. Mm -hmm. Thanks for that, Con. Okay. Okay, so complete the quest. We need the nice. XP. A lot of XP. Let's go upstairs. And Going continue the quest. Again, XP. Boom, boom. Alright. Oh, you're wearing the same armor as me? Am I? No, yeah. you're not. No. My hel I think my helmet's different. Yeah, my helmet's different. What, what Mine's got extra bits. What's your, what armor are you wearing? I am wearing the Shaman Vigilant set. War Beast Maven set. Alright, we gotta help okay. these folks out. Mm. So, where is the laboratory? It's over here. Find the correct scrolls. Those are not them. Oh, I think I know the scrolls we're supposed to get. Oh, yeah? It's not, it, I think it's... Upstairs? No, I think I know the scrolls are supposed to collect. It's the scroll, it's like, I forgot what it's called, but like, motivation, maybe. No, it's not. Well, I'm collecting stuff up here. I don't think it's the right scrolls. I'm, go I'm gonna try the scroll that I think may wear. The scroll? Nope. Is it maybe uh, somewhere else? Not in the uh, lab laboratory? No, it says it's in the laboratory. Alright. The potion. Maybe the well, there's some imps out person. here. Maybe it's not just person. Yeah, some imps around here. 
So I figured maybe they might drop the scroll. Good. But maybe we're, we're supposed to check the chest. Boxes. Thought that was a scroll, but it's just decoration. Torches. All right, so nothing up here. I think that's a different mission. No. <clears throat> I'm finding a lot of um, dust, but um, no scrolls. Maybe I can buy it from this gnome looking guy. Nope. Yeah, I'm seeing if I can buy it from this person. Why is like it's the light schools? Well, it says we haven't found any yet, so... I oh, know. Oh, yeah, the, the light scrolls. Oh. You have to get light scrolls and use them to free them. All right, I have one. Can you use it on that last mage nearby? Yeah. Like, like, right beside him? Please? So we had them all along. Oh, I'll buy one. Is it? Got it. I, I just thought the, the counter was for actually finding the scrolls, but it was for finding and using the scrolls. And fish more vision and fish lift. Lift. Where are you? More right vision! Here. Hm. Five bells. We did it. Could you complete this quest for me? We did it already. Oh, can I yeah, complete I it? Yes. Because I have no one to totally speak to collect your reward. So I can't complete the quest. Bunny ears. Oh, black cat ears. Yeah. I like my favorite one of the schools out of the unfinished school is the lift. And we need sun diamond dust and sea sapphire dust, which you have. Yeah, I'm starting to get them. All right, uh, talk. That's good that it counts the stuff that you collected beforehand. I like that. All right, so I got recipe for scroll of revelation and three scrolls of revelation. So this is where we have to go up the stairs, right? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not even using the schools of revelation. I'm using lift schools and stuff. Nice. So now we can build stuff and break stuff now. Oh, but you did already. Yeah, I did all the protection because I jumped up. Nice. So 
so we're both. Do I need to come up there? Is there stuff up there? Uh, we uh, have one more quest. Oh, we need to craft the balloon pack. I'm still at 25, but I'll be at 26 maybe after the next mission. We have to craft the balloon pack. How do we craft it? Okay. Balloon pack. Oh, that's expensive. I don't want to make it. I just fell far down. Let's complete some other quests to level. There's this one down okay. here. Ah, uh, the build a break block. Boing. I kind of flooded the basement a bit. Didn't even need it. There's a quest that my cupids start doing something weird. Oh yeah. Oh, I can't move. Me neither. I can't do anything. I think we're gonna. I'm gonna have to disconnect from the game, like main menu. All right. Go main menu. We're gonna get kicked. Then I'll go back I'm in and invite you. Okay. Yeah, I was completely stuck. So, re-entering the game. Alright. So that was pretty fun playing uh, Ghost Recon yesterday. It was hard. Mm -hmm. But, but I think hard. we did a pretty good job. Well, next time we'll be able to speed run that part. Since we know yeah. what we're doing. We'll just have to figure out how to beat but, the boss. Yeah, or oh, actually it'll change. But we know what, how to fight the boss. We know how to fight the boss, though. We won't have to quickly wrap it up. What during the box? Like, I, so we'll just be able to do to do, do and yeah. It will be hard, but we'll be able to do it probably. Hopefully. Hopefully, probably. I'm loading into the game still. Okay, just let me know when you're in and send me an invite. And I'll jump on. Meanwhile, nuts. It's taking more. It's taking more time than it should have taken hmm. to load in. All right, I'm gonna try to load into one of my worlds and see what happens. Maybe their uh, servers are down. Doesn't make sense though. It's not online. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to replace today with another game because of porn lights. I think we're gonna have to do something. I'll play a different game because of porn lights. I'm in. So. Well, I'm still. Do you want to maybe? Do you maybe want to do some creative mode? Well. I'm I'm stuck on the loading screen so in the game so I'm turning the game off to get back in. I guess okay. we'll do some creative mode. Hopefully we don't get that spin bug. Again. Yeah, maybe what we'll do is um I'll invite you to mine. Yes, I guess we'll do some creative mode building. Okay. Maybe we should do it so I'm gonna go on my warrior for the creative mode building. So I'm gonna So, we're going to do some building in creative mode. We did testing last time, so we should, I guess, we should do some st this stuff then. Do you want to do it in your world or mine? Um, I don't, whichever you prefer. I'm good either way. Well, I'm going to add an island and 
So what what do you want to make it? Grassland forest, dry desert. What like what biome do you want it to be? Hmm. You want to do forest? Um. For, forest. Okay. Can so we also need a terrain. Yeah, terrain. Um, canyon, yeah. I think, is one of them. Canyon, yeah. That normal or large? Uh, let's just go normal. Okay. Forest. I'm gonna enter and invite you. Alright. Pow. So I guess we're just gonna be doing a tag to your building. The stream. I got decked out in my okay. building clothes. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the main menu. It's a pretty small area that we have, and there's like a like, a, and, there's, and there's like a hole in the map. Mhm. Mm cuts like straight through. So I'm joining now? Yeah. Whoa, that's a big... Water on the edges I'm digging up. For a nice little spot. Alright, I'm gonna build a castle. On top of the hill? I think so. With water? Yeah, the water spout, I think. There's a, called. yeah, there's a, it's a tool probably. Maybe in the trap spot. Hmm. Are there a waypoint? Hmm? I don't know where it is. Maybe in here, I feel like maybe. Hmm. Oh, it's under, um, Decoration miscellaneous, it's called the water pump. It's almost at the bottom. It's where the mine carts and the carts are. It's like the one with the pot? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I, okay, thanks. No worries. There's water pump. to pump a ton of water in. Yup. I have three. I keep pumping three. In the spanning square. I 
it's seven foot thing. What's that? Maybe if I use the connection tool and the, the lever, I could connect a ton to the lever. Oh, that's smart. Oh, I can't connect it. Sadly. I wish I could create infinite water source. I wish I could make like a water source that would never run out. Yeah. In, at least in creative mode. I'm making sort of a floor plan here. Okay, it's kind of boring. <coughs> oh. It's kind of boring now. Excuse so, me. Yeah. Like a little town? Yep. I, I'm gonna go make like a little mine. That's a neat idea. I like that. Like a mine. Yeah. I'm in one of the sides mine. of the... Yeah. And I'll put the minor characters in it. Commands in creative mode. Commands? Yeah. So, like, you could fill in a large amount of spots, make it hollow. Oh, I not. see what you mean. Just for a lot. With the, the block you want, you can stuff with the block you want, like that. I am making a bridge. Okay. You can use a bar bridge too. Oh yeah. I never even thought of that.
so I have to make this go straight across. Two reasons, one that I know that this is straight, and another because I need to know how far out the drawbridge goes. I don't think it goes out very far. So it has to be placed on a surface? I don't understand. Um, yeah. What's wrong? What's wrong? I don't know how to place the drawbridge. Let me try. So where do you want it to be placed? I'm trying to figure out... Place it. Oh, you have to place it on top of something first. Okay, and then you remove the stuff underneath. Oh, 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 actually, I know, I know. You have to make a wall first. Wall and put it on the wall. Okay. So, can, so if you make a wall, I can, I can place it. Well, I don't know where I want to put the wall yet because I don't know how well, long so it is. It's this wide. And let me check. So it's that wide. This is only temporary. Oh, that's too yeah. wide. Let me check if it's that, how long it is. And like one block higher. What's it? What's that? that height and I have to go back and see. Yeah, it, it, that's the size. That high and that wide. So, I'm, so what material are you making the castle out of? It doesn't seem to still let me put anything. Yeah, I know. It's that just to show you how large it is. So what's the material you're building it out of? Um, it is... Whoops. Small stone brick? Oh, yeah. Small stone bricks block. Okay. if it's that high. It's a bit high. Oh. Oops. I think you made the, that that path too large. I can't seem to place it. Okay, can you just get out of the way there? Like you're, yeah. So if you're breaking that path, thing there. Oh, that's where you want the wall to be. The I'm just drawbridge. I'm trying to line it up so that there's two drawbridges that meet in the middle. Yeah, but then you'll have to destroy this. Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to move this one back. Oh, you want this and... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the walls. Maybe it's not high enough. Maybe I have to bring it high. Yeah, I, it, it works. There you go. All right. So if you fix that wall... Yeah, it has enough... No, it, it, it's spaced out enough. 
to work if you, if they stout enough to work. That wall you made was already good. Okay. I don't know about that. Yeah, it was. I'm, I'm seeing and it seems like the size is good. So if you rebuild that wall you made, it's good. If you rebuild that wall, it's good. I heard you. So. Hey, can you can you stop? Sorry, my dad. You should make remake the wall so the when you meet, if you want them to meet, you have to remake the wall. Yeah. Drawbridge. You want me to replace that drawbridge? Sure. Okay, I have to go on this side. There. Oh, nice. I have to replace the extra. Bye. So it's good now. Cool, now thanks for the move, help. Now we can remove this path. And yeah. you know. I'll remove the path thing. Should I move those things on the side? Oh. Let's see. on the edge like this this part remove this part yeah I'm standing I think on. so okay it's hard to control creative mode flying Perfect. Ah! <laughs> Did you close the drawbridge on yourself? Yeah, on purpose. Oh, I I just had an idea to make it. What if we make this like a ogre castle, like a monster castle? Yeah, that's a good idea. So we can go do test mode and like do it as like and a dungeon. And then fight it, yeah. As a dungeon. Do you have your combat gear on? I have it with me. We have to swap if we do test mode. Yeah. So once we're done building the castle, we'll, we'll probably need to make the castle bigger for it to be like a oh, dungeon. Oh yeah, of course. But at the end we'll have a powerful enemy. What enemy should we make it put at the end? What should we what? Enemy should we put at the end? Oh, I don't know. Wait, there's pumpkin enemies. For pumpkin? There's, there's egg slime enemies? Pumpkin enemies and a snowman enemy. I like that. I think we should make the boss a fiery walk. Okay. With a burning bones. As a like minion. Alright. So it would like be a lav lava scene dungeon. I wish I could make it like a uh, character scared in this. 
Like a scared character? Yeah, like the characters are like, quivering oh, like, sometimes. Yeah. Cause I, cause I want to put a guy in the front, scaring like as if he gives us a quest. Right. Quest. Yeah. The closest thing to a weapon you can get in creative mode is either the gold mining claw or gold lumberjack axe. You mean that looks like a weapon? Yeah, that looks like a weapon. That's the closest thing. Um, right. So we're gonna have up to a hundred enemy spawners. So That's a lot enemies. of spawners. Yeah, up to a hundred enemies. That means up to a hundred. I think I glitched myself. Oh. I think I found a way to glitch myself into the drawbridge. Oh yeah? It's kind of hard to keep it glitched. Because I can't move, but... Look at the drawbridge that on the castle side. Yeah? On the oh, side of I it. I see that. Saw your little uh, piece of uh, dirt sticking through. I'm gonna clear my action bar. What were they gonna do? I forgot what I was gonna do. Oh yeah, I wanna check out something. I created a waypoint. What does that do? Um, I can, I think I can like activate it and if you're heading in the opposite direction, it'll make your screen change into a weird color. Uh huh. No, it's if your character's reticule is on it. It becomes all foggy. Weird that. So we're gonna have to build some walls. I figure on the castle side we make it like a really big tower. That way we can make it so that the tougher guys are at the top and we have to get all the way up to the top. Yeah. That's part of our dungeon. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Good. Cool. press the button. You have to press the button? Yeah, in order to get in because the gate would be closed and, and to spawn in. Right. It's supposed to be like, it's locked. building I'm gonna have to widen this wall they're gonna I'll be building the traps and stuff I'll be like the trap builder and okay. like the mechanic part you just do the aesthetics okay because I'm bad at building aesthetics
have to press the button in order to unlock it. Okay. Look at the look at the drawbridges. Look what I built. So that, oh, there's so, locks. Yeah, cool. if you come to the front, there's a button, and when you press it, it will open the drawbridge. But only press it when we're doing testing. Okay. And then so should it. we okay. should we uh, make it so that that button is difficult to get to, or should we just make it simple for yeah, now? Yeah, it's only so that in case of the monsters come out of what it's supposed to be, uh. you press it so that you press it when you're ready. To end the monsters can't escape. Right. So you only press it when you're ready. So I'm so once you start building the first floor, I'm gonna start building the traps and stuff. Okay. Once you're done. I'm gonna build other mechanics and stuff. I'll, I'm gonna try testing over here. For the dungeon. So that you press, I'm, I'm making something, so where's the, is there a purple button? There's no purple. So I guess there's... There's no purple button? Yeah, I, I want to make it so that there's like a rainbow button. So next. Let's make it so that there's a... Ghost area. I should not go stay, do it. Well, it would be really it. neat if we kept going and we made it so that you start at one end and there's a ton of drawbridges and, the, and it gets you all the way over to the other end of this <laughs> island. I don't know, that'd be pretty cool. Take a long time. I'm thinking of the way I'm gonna build it. Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm figuring out t a way that it's gonna be built.
just starting to think of a way to build it. The dungeon? Yeah. Yeah. It's actually, there's going to be like a puzzle part. Yeah, I actually think it's pretty good. So there's a puzzle part to the... Dungeon. To like the top, to get to the top, there's one one part of it you have to complete this puzzle. Oh, okay. And I thought of how to make it. So I figured out how, how to complete that puzzle, how to make that puzzle. I'll definitely need, I definitely need some room, so I guess it'll just be one part of it. Because I'll need a lot of room for that puzzle. So yeah. Right. So which is, so we start in, so we start, where, where do, where do we come in from? Where, where's like the dungeon part? This is the part where we do all the dungeon stuff? I haven't figured that out yet. I think the other I side is the castle side. But this is the bigger spot, spot actually. Okay, so we want to so start on the other side? So yeah, we'll, we'll make the landing pad on the Well, what side. I was thinking of was that we make the landing part over here. And then when we get to that side, it's a really tall tower, but it's very oh. small. Okay. And this is this yeah. is as tall as this part gets. I'm just making. Yeah. Maybe eventually it connects to this tower, this part, and it's like a tower top, and that's oh, yeah. for the boss because this tower would be probably larger. Right. So you have to go out of this side, or we can go to the next island another thing we could do. Yeah, let's do the next island. So, I'm... So, I'm gonna continue working on trap, like, puzzles and stuff, mechanics. Okay. I wish I could make like mini cutscenes. That'd be cool. Yeah. I think I know what the first the floor challenge will be. What's that? Mummies. One ancient mummy and two normal mummies. The spawn in once you get here. So we need the floor. And what's the floor going to be made out of? The floor? Pork? Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe pocket blocks? Block? Sure. Like this block? I think this block would go good. our own mini bosses to like upgrade the normal enemies and turn them into like bosses and people mode like I wish they had a free mode was a, a lot more than it is I quite I think they do have a lot with the traps and the I enemy know, spawners but I, yeah but the stuff that could make it better it'd be fun to uh, be able to have like a marketplace where you could share your stuff with other people yeah, I know. Maybe... Because then you could make, you could make full you could connect dungeons. Maybe you could connect pool nights on the PS to, like, a computer, and then maybe, like, you can, like, install stuff. Well, Come I know on. that they have portal lights the for the PC. Blocks it, the pocket blocks it. Oh, it's kind of like a mirror. I can kind of see, like, reflections. It's oh, yeah. They're, like, weird. polished. Super polished. So 
I'm just see? taking the basic if walls. If you see these pressure plates, um, if you see a pressure plate, only step yep. on just. It's okay. Um, the pressure plate is only just spawning the enemies. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure what the first thing, like, I'm not sure how to spawn the first guys in. I guess they'll just be, like, this. Okay, that's good. That's the first round. I'm gonna make the second level, like, the flooring, so I can start up the okay. second. Once we're done, once we're done building the... Once you're done building the first level, we'll make the second level, like the way to get up. The second yeah. level. Yeah, I made a, I made a, an area for a staircase over here. I, w I wonder if there's one that if you act one of the gate things, if you, when you activate it, it will like turn off. It will like exit. Like turn it the same. can lock you in so like we, it, it closes actually no because if a player gets locked in and they die then they couldn't get out right oh that didn't work i wasn't thinking Is this out of? And it's Which the, material? The this staircase? one? Staircase? Staircase is. Polished dark wood? Dark stone bricks block. Okay. I'll finish this. The staircase? Huh? Oh. Thanks. Yeah, we're gonna have to do this differently. Nope. Buddy, stop. Okay. What are you doing? Making a stocking. Yeah, but you're you're not gonna be able to get up it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna have to make it from a different direction. No, we're just what we're gonna have to do. Make it is... when it reaches here, keep going forward. Wait. Once you're done building the staircase, I'll make the rest of the floor the second level floor. Yeah. So I can start making the second level thing. But to to you open the door to the boss, we're gonna have to Open it with the gate thing. Like, open this gate with a puzzle I just thought I thought of. You thought of a puzzle? Yeah, I thought of a puzzle when I was testing. I thought, I thought of a puzzle. Cool. So, so now it's built, so now it's the flooring. The build time. Every enemy in this spot 
all the spawners will only spawn one enemy each. That's why there's multiple mummy spawners. Because each will only spawn one each. Right. Maybe not if I if I I make it act, be activated with a signal a connection with something that activates stuff. I think I know what we should do for like stuff like gates and stuff. We should What's that? like we should hide it in a spot that a players won't be able to reach. Okay. I wonder if there's a way to make it so that players can't break stuff when we're doing test doing in test play. Yeah, that would be good, especially if you want to make like a dungeon for them to get through. So the chance bad guys will be able to break blocks. I think what we should do now is focus on the first floor. Yeah, well, I'm gonna be, I'm, I'm just like making the traps and stuff. So I'm gonna make some enemies to fight on the second floor. Okay. I'm gonna think of some enemies. Floor two, there's gonna be some Utens. One of each type of Uten. Like they're hanging out, having a conversation. Yeah. One of each type of Eden. There's not gonna be two of one, it's just because so, I'm moving it back a bit. Right. Because of the walls too close. Because I wanna put the BAM Eden to that. It's also acting like it's talking. I've never made a dungeon. No, me neither. I've this is kind of fun. I've never made a dungeon. So these, this is, these are the enemies for floor two. Now we're also going to have to light it up. Yep. I'll do the lighting and stuff. Okay. You'll probably do decoration, but you'll probably, actually, you'll probably do the decoration since you're a better builder and stuff. I'll just be doing the like the traps and enemies. Yeah, well that's action. the important part, right? That's what people are gonna be playing against. Yeah, we're gonna have like a staircase here, so you have to beat the guys in order to get, come up higher. Right. Remember, this is the ogre ca castle, so try and make it like look ominous. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna name these guys, Joe. Woodman, actually this guy's Phil, Phil, like Egyptian dude, Wood Bill guy, Phil? Royal like Phil, Bill Phil guy, Royal Phil, w Frosty Wood guy. So on floor two, we're gonna make it so. Oh, and there's also gonna be one. There's also going to be a couple, those are the extra guys to open, to find a little, those guys are just to make it, to add a little spice. I'm going to have two so Savian fighters blocking the staircase up. Okay. So I have to fight them. Yeah, there's going to be a ton of different enemy types. We can only, but we have to make sure we don't overlap a hundred. Because if we overlap a oh, hundred, right. we can't make any more. We can't place any more. If we do any more than, we can't put any more than a hundred. I quickly move, I move myself for a bit just to, to tell Fritz that we're making a dungeon. Okay, Let's I need to find... I'm out of it. Okay. 
Once you're I'm trying done to find the this... landing pad. Oh, the landing pad? It's I'm gonna look for it too. Oh, I found it under miscellaneous. Miscellaneous uh, furniture, I think. Furniture? Um, yeah, it's in there. So, wait, oh, you'll need you'll need to use the pull stones to activate it. I'll do use pull stones to activate it. Cause need, in order to activate, we need pull stones. Right. Nice. So now look, go look at where the old one is. Oh yeah, it's like a stone spot now. Where is it? It's where I am. All it right. turned into normal stone. So that's round one. That's floor two. We made floor two floors. The dungeon's starting to look good. Yeah. We have nine enemies so far put in. Race car? Race car. People are always driving oh. way too fast down my street. You press the button so the button's pressed so the the gate opens. So we should can, can I close it again? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cause oh, I see. I thought you could just press it again. Yeah, you can't. That's my bad. It's okay. There. So, so I'm gonna like make floor two for this. Yeah. So this is gonna be like a lava scene dungeon. So like the boss, there's gonna be the further you go in, there's gonna be less normal type enemies. But there's actually gonna be a ton of different enemies. But there's, there's gonna be like a ton of lava. So here's like what fire? I'm thinking on this side. Mm -hmm. I like the idea of lava on fire. Uh, yeah. What I think gonna is like we're gonna start dungeon. out here, and there's gonna be a little bit of a graveyard. And maybe some guys to fight and then there's going to yeah, be a so door to get into here yeah but there's going to yeah. be something that you have to do to open the door and then there's going to be guys to fight in here but instead of putting this button here we're going to put it up like on a second or a third floor so you actually have to fight a bunch of guys here yeah so then go up the stairs a, before you go into the actual dungeon it's a micro dungeon exactly so i'm going to get some undead creatures to put in the building in the graveyard? Yeah. It's gonna be okay. like the first part's gonna be like undead type dish. Yeah. That's a good that's what I was thinking. So we're gonna have some fun squires, fun soldiers, and fun wizards. Even if you want a giant skeleton hound. You see actually how giant it is. I can't place this. Oh yeah? Oh I can't we only can use thirty or limited to use only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different types. Oh right. Okay. So we'll have to change it up. We'll have to decide what we want to do. Maybe do all undead? Yeah, it'll be like an undead dun but it's like but the boss is gonna be an ogre. Oh, or actually, we just we do make... ogres and goblins? Ogres and goblins, I guess. So, Sylvian, so like, I'm gonna pick out the guys that who, the bad guys, that, like the ogres and, and, yeah. and undead creatures. So then, I think what you should do maybe is get rid of the guys that you have so far, so like, and then go, and go we'll to only, a different... And we're gonna have a picture with ogre guys and other guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's a good idea. Well, I didn't think of it, you did. <laughs> So four, well, so that's four, so we're going to have three different, so, 
We're gonna have four undead, different types. If you three, if you don't want the giant skeleton hound to be in it, and then okay. the boss, and then I'm going to two, three, um, three, three more characters. I, yeah, I think we can probably do without the giant skeleton hound because we don't want the okay. the first dungeon to have, or the first like the graveyard to have like a boss. Maybe a mini boss, but I'm gonna see how. So I'm gonna remove the mummies. It's not. It's not that big. It it could be accounted for a mini boss. It's probably right. it should be ranked as a mini boss. The mini boss of the dungeon. We can make it as a mini boss. Let's make him a mini boss. Yeah. Not a boss. So the first guys you fight are some squires and stuff. Okay. I I pretty much remade this thing with the Alpudens, but instead with undead. Okay. So that'd be the Fallen Soldier and two Fallen Squires. You guys can move walks and end up and creatures like that. Leader Gvan and one more enemy. Let's get Gvan King for the last time. So we have the boss, Fiery Walk, Leader Gvan. So like the, the weaker guy enemies. Fallen Squires, Wizards, and Fallen Soldiers. Ready Grunt Kings and the mini boss for the, for the start, starting part, right. the giant skeleton hound. He's not that big, but he is big. So, so, so this, the, the area you spawn in is kind of like a graveyard and when you enter the building, that's where the enemies are. The enemies. Right. Like you. Okay, let's make. So the first enemies you fight in this part, it's gonna be like squires. Too much. Three squires for this part. Well, the second floor of this is gonna be like a uh, leader grant. To a red grunt king. And some leader grunts over here. With the felon soldier. Actually, that's a little bit too hardcore. That's enough. Hmm? I like making a dungeon, it's pretty fun. It is. I'll try making like a graveyard. I should probably put like dead trees for the graveyard. Okay. So I'm gonna get some plants and stuff. That's the plants area. Where's the... Uh, is there like a vent type? No, so I can't... I guess no trees? No? Yeah, cause... I can't make like a, um, so, cause I can't make like a dead tree. Oh. Okay. Well, you can use the gravestones from the furniture section. Yeah. It's actually a graveyard set. Oh, those guys look creepy in there. Yeah, we're gonna have to light that area up. So people can see. Can I 
going to the graveyard. Alright, yeah. I'm gonna try to work on switches and stuff. Let's see, trigger. Button. Pressure plates. We have a king's coffin over here. Like on the top level, there's gonna be of the graveyard micro dungeon part, or whatever you want to call it. There's right. gonna be a king's coffin. Okay. Coffin. I'm not gonna do much nice. of the aquarium, only like the graveyard type. Right. Stuff. I'm gonna make a little bit of a wall. Kind of half broken. Wally. What is a skull gate? Oh yeah, that's gonna be for the boss fight. I wanna make it. Okay. I'm making like the gravestones kind of like part of the area. Part of the, the like the fence. Right. Makes it look cooler. I'm thinking... So look how I made the fence part. My fence part. Yeah, I see that. I think I'm going to add some more fences. And like I'm gonna add gravestones in the this part of the dungeon. Here's as if a, like, a creature like rammed into it. Oh, you're making like, where's the button? It's making it so exactly. like, you have to look for the button. Yeah. So we can it's put the lever. skeletons out here. Yeah, but then when, right when you're spawning, you can get spawn killed over and over again. If you're too weak to fight the dungeon. Spawning, like you're all dead. So that's why All right. I want to put no, the that's fair. In that's there. a fair concern. We don't know what level people are going to be when they come here. Plus, we're level thirty, so the enemies are going to be level thirty. May I might right. change depending on the player who owns the world that we're playing in, but still, yeah.
So we've been playing for a bit. I think maybe we should uh, uh, soon test out our little mm -hmm. dungeon. Yeah, the, the start of the dungeon at least. Yeah. Um, maybe what we'll do uh, is I'll make the second floor of this place. This first part. Maybe we'll just finish this first part. What do you say? Um, okay. So this is the starting area. You go so through we'll here need... to look. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a very old graveyard. That's why there's a ton of like broken parts. In the front. Yeah. Hello. Okay. I, mean, I kind of want to make it so the the pit layers can jump over and some players might have double jump the double jump ability so they'll be able to jump over the fences. Right. So That's fine, they're allowed to we, jump over. I guess. That's why I think we should put like one or two skeletons over here. Start them like over here. And maybe add in a skeleton down here. Like on the I can uh So, this is the starting area, then you go through, look for the leather, huh, huh, yeah. around here, oh yeah. They're about a little character size, a bit taller, so, and probably that as wide, so they can probably go through the whole side, but that's okay, I guess. Yeah, they're supposed to, it's, it's not meant to be impossible, yeah. it's just meant to be... Difficult. Just a little bit of an obstacle. So I, I just want to get to the second level of this so I can just make it three levels of the micro dungeon and then we'll add in the skeleton hound. Alright. We should probably add some like gravestones in here. Inside? Yeah, inside. Maybe. Okay. You could do that. Add some air. You'll probably, you'll probably, you, you're the bell dollar, so you should probably decorate it. But like, make it like, maybe put some bones on the ground. Okay. Can put bones. Oh yeah, that's right. You can do stuff that you can't do in regular mode. I forgot. I wish when you broke the bone little decorations or whatever, it gives you, it gives you, uh, you collected bones, crafting bones. Oh, I see. Yeah, but that would that would kind of be cheating. Mm, I guess. But it would make sense. Yeah, but then you would just go into creative mode to farm stuff. I don't... Th you can't farm... I don't think you... you. I'm going to see something. I don't think your theory would work. Is it okay if I go into test mode? Uh, yeah, let's do it. I don't think hmm. I'll collect anything. The test play? Just to yep. see. The test playing to see if we collect items from enemies. So we have to try it. They don't drop anything. And, but, and we can't break stuff, so it's good. It's good. We, don't, we can't. Stuck over there? We can't okay. break stuff, and we can't collect, and we can't and and we drop nothing, and they don't give XP either. So we're okay. good. We I'm going to uh, I'm going to fix up this area here a little bit, if you don't mind, okay. because I don't think that they could get through. So it's a Van Grand King, Leader Grant. Leader Grants will run away when they're low, so see if you. Okay. This side, 
there's gonna be a felon wizard, and that's it up here. So yeah. There's only gonna be a felon wizard, and maybe two, and maybe no, I'm just one minute felon wizard. I'll add in another two more squires to increase the difficulty of there, since you find mini boss right at the start, pretty much. I'm above you. We should probably add some statues. Dungeon set. Let's add some statues. Sure. Why would that not go in there? Let's get some night statues. What are you trying to do? Hold on. There we go. Statues. All right. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna. So. For now. So for now I don't. So for now I'm gonna. I don't know what to add. Maybe a, a like a trap. Maybe a trap. I'm gonna add some traps. That's a good idea. What kind of traps? Like fire traps and stuff like that? So here you have to make your cursed trap. Rotating cursed trap. Actually, you have to make it not a rotating. It's going to be a non rotating cursed trap. Whoa. Maybe if I move it over here. small window between the traps shooting right so you can either jump over right actually you can't jump over so there's a timing that you have to p go through the timing between this first okay. trap actually i think that the traps should be higher up in the dungeon Traps should be like higher. A, like a second, a second floor done uh, traps, and then yeah, third like floor. Yeah, on the second floor, yes, add traps. Okay. I need at least so, two blocks high. Yeah, I will like, do that. And two blocks wide, two by two, in order to build these traps. I'm gonna add. I wanna add some, some more. We should probably add some like more ruiny stuff. Make stuff look even more like a ruin. Yeah, we could do that after. I think for now we just want to yeah, sort of we get just like, the basic. Build this and see what parts we want to make it. Exactly. Ruining. I like how you built it. Thanks. We're gonna have to light the place up. Oh, like when it's dark, and you see when you start entering the that first area, there's like a ton of just like like. Dark eyes. Yeah. Like cursed color eyes. Color of cursed cap.
one. A broken bench. You're putting a broken bench? Um, in the graveyard part, I'm putting a broken bench. That's a good idea. So, behind like the landing pad of the graveyard bench, I got a broken bench. Look at a building. Hmm? Why, thank you. M maybe we should add like a stone window. Yeah, I haven't added any windows yet just because it's super easy to to build vertically like this. And then just make holes for windows later. I can add windows. I think I, yeah. I see a good spot right now. Go for it. Okay, I have to make a slot. Window right here. Nice. Maybe if I rotate it. I like to have my windows and doors in games like this. So like it's going inward. Right. Kind of. It, it so it looks, looks nicer. Oh, I changed book a block. Yeah. I changed book a block. Uh, what? I oh. changed book a block. Boom. Fixed. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Oh. But isn't, uh, I think this is a good spot for win a window, right? Yeah, it's a very good spot for a window. It, uh, it can overlook the graveyard. Window gate, great. They don't have ghosts in this game, do they? They don't. I I guess I found a something that a something that fits better with the graveyard style. What's that? The, for the window. Oh yeah. Hmm? Dungeon window. Dungeon window grates. Ooh yeah. Like a lot, a white, like a wider version. Okay. A four by four version. We can use a small dungeon cage wall at the window. I think. Yeah, the window grates are better. Dungeon, then it, it's pretty cool. I think so. It gives yeah, a little I, bit of a purpose to what you're building. Yeah, I, I, wa I want to make it. I want to make. I, I want. I like placing the enemies in. Be cool if you could. Remember how you were talking before about those signs and how it'd be cool if you could actually type something on them. Yeah, a lot of. We need if you could make little scenarios, like you said, like get the cowering I villager. Know. And then give them things to say. Yeah. I mean, I know that there's 
Um, you know, they, they gotta make sure that you don't say anything mean. No. But I think they could make it work. Um, I remember when I was building my house, I yeah. couldn't write stuff on a sign, so I had to put, make, write it in blocks. Ah, that's so a the, better way of doing it. Yeah, but it was, but then I took it down. Oh yeah. Yeah, because you could barely see it because of the glass. Right. I can't wait to do the dungeon once it's ready. I want to make the den the boss gate. I really want to make the boss gate. So actually, yeah. once we you reach the top of the first tower, there's gonna be like a, a bridge that unlocks that leads to the other, to, uh, like the other top of the canyon where there's a puzzle and then you have then there's the boss on the third it's, island yeah on like another island yeah yeah i like that i'm gonna do the bathroom okay yeah see you in a bit okay and here we are under construction once again in portal lights build out the edge so that I can make this next part a little bit smaller so that we don't have a constantly straight up section and instead I can make done by a break Welcome back. Jump, jump, and yeah. So I'm just done. That's so. Once, so we're at the third level. This is, where, this is gonna be the mini boss. So we don't want any holes, so players fall all the way at the bottom. Right. Since the third is the boss. So what we're doing here is. I wish you could make it so that you connected an uh, enemy to um to sub to a to like a, a something so that it would open when an enemy reaches a certain amount of health. So in this oh, case, when saying. an enemy yeah. reached fifty health, fifty health left, fifty percent. Right. At half health, it would open gates so the minions could come. Why are you Why are you making this? Oh, this why are you making this? What's this supposed to be? That's going to be the third level. It's going to be oh. smaller. Oh. Okay. And it's going to have like an outside area. Or you can make a, the monster go on somewhere. And stuff like that. When it has, if a certain thing happens, and stuff like right. I just want to add an enemies. Oh yeah, that's all you want to yeah. do. Uh, I just like adding an enemies. I have my mini. I'm ready to spawn in the mini boss. Well, we don't have a floor up here yet. I know. Do you want to do the floor on the inside? 
I'll do the floor one while you work on the other part. So what's the material? Uh, we can keep using the same floor large that we used stone. on the other side. No, Maybe, the large white stone it... is for the roof or for the walls. Oh. This but is the area make... we fight in? So in the middle where the hole is, that's where we want a floor for the inside of the building. And then this is like the, outside the ramparts. Area. Yeah. But where's the boss fight going to be? In an, Inside and outside. They're just going to chase you around. So maybe we pick something that is like a uh, like a humanoid monster. Oh, or we make it so that the doors are big enough so that it's more like one big area. But just yeah, do the one wood. Big area. Okay. I guess one big area. Cause... So then what I would I say is just start using... I can't something else except for start... some non-undead creatures. So start using the, um, the the wood flooring that we use on the other side. The wood flooring? The yeah, and then do, do, do this part in here. Uh, at the end, or like on the boss fight part, we, do, we fight, we fight, we find a, like there's gonna be a king's coffin. So, okay. would I place the flooring right here? Like on this yeah. level? Yeah. Okay. You'll make, you'll adjust the flooring so that it fits the, to the staircase. Yeah, I'll do that. Because I don't know what side the staircase is going to be like. Yeah, we haven't made the stairs yet, so we can fix it. We're also going to have to we... light it all up. Because yeah. it's dark. Dark's not bad, though. Okay. For undead. But I think we should add some torches and stuff. Yeah. We have to have Although it might be neat everywhere. to fight something in the in the total dark. Yeah. Let's make let's make first floor total dark. Okay. For the traps. Just let's make first floor total dark to make up for the weak enemies. And second floor there will be traps. Right. Oh, maybe we'll even add some traps aren't for the boss fight and the mini boss boss and mini boss it's gonna be like undead theme not undead like undead and stuff like that so i'm gonna place in the boss the mini boss we'll need big gates okay. or doors to fit it through I kind of want to place it like outside so players can get ready. Maybe like, wait, what if we place it like right here? Sure. Instead. Place it right there just to make it kind of easier. To get ready. <sighs> and make it, you'll be able to maneuver more in here. Cause yeah. Or else it would just like be like right here and like attacking you right when you get up the stairs. Which would be unfair for the not as tanky players. Right. So I want to like wander around in this area. I'm gonna add in some minions. I think we should add in minions. Should add in treasure too. Yeah, I don't, I, we can't put treasure chest. Oh, we can't. Right, because there's no, there's no rewards because we're in creative mode. Yeah. So players can at least wait them to heal. I'm adding in vases. Okay. Around. Two players. Or at least just for decoration. I'm gonna 
add in some weak minions? I need you to put another vase over here. Because what? Um, what I'm going to do... this is, I just had a... Hold on. I, oh, um, I I'll, make a, I'll make a new one. Not yet, not yet. Okay, so once uh, you're ready, I'll make a new one. So, what type of vase? Why is this not going on the wall? I thought you could put these on the wall. What? What is it? Oh, maybe it rotates once. What is it? A blue button. Oh. Yeah, there we go. I, it, yeah, you just have to case it, so... Yeah. I'll so put, put the... A... Put the vase in front of it, so you have to break the vase before you... Then yeah, I'll put... Both, so I'll put a large vase. Okay, so since we finished with the boss, casing the boss, or the mini boss and stuff, yeah. Yeah. So, um, sudden, just get some squad. Oh, I'm stuck in here. Yeah, so you connected it? Oh, you're stuck? Go up the stairs. No, I'm out. So now yeah, we're gonna so have to have... finish the tower up. Yeah. But the vases are mainly so players can heal. I want to test and see if players can break the vases and get items. Okay. So, so, you, so are you ready for test play? Yep. Make sure you have your gear. You can stay at the starting area. I'll just do the the no, part no, of the dungeon we have so far. If so, I'll do the dungeon part that we have so far. Yeah, I think we're gonna do this test play and then we're gonna call it so that we can have lunch. Okay. But we can always do this again next week. Yeah, we'll do it again next week, I guess. Just building the dungeon. Yeah. They did a lot of damage. Alright. So they don't drop anything, toggle. Woohoo, door opened. This. So. Oh! Yeah, I forgot to add in the traps on the second level. That's okay. So we don't here. expect any traps except uh, Sun Wizard. Me him up. And uh, we don't have stairs to go to the top. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's. So I guess we'll call it now. Do you want to do one more test? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we should probably make stairs first, though. Yeah. So we can make stairs. So make the stairs. Because I'm not good at making stairs. Then I'll yeah, I'll do it. Activate test. Okay. Funk. Tell me when to test play. Okay, a minute. Alright, so stairs. Okay, it's not pretty, but we have stairs. Okay, test play. Ready? Ready. So we're going to do the test play. See if we can beat up the boss, then the mini boss, and then see if we can actually use the vases for items to heal. Yep. If, if we can't, if we can't, break, if we can't break the vases, then we won't be able to, you know. Heal. And but if we can't break the big vase, then we can't open press the button. Oh right. Hi. This is the stairs. Yeah, you can break the vases. Not sure if they drop anything. I don't think the vases drop anything. Alright, well let's uh but break this one. Yeah, there goes the drawbridge. Oh, you we're can just jump right down. To... Yeah. We're gonna add torches here. But yep. I put I just four squires. And one soldier. Alright. Whoa. One squire came up here. Hey guys. Yeah, that is that king. To Peter's run. 
Yeah, it gets hard. It gets pretty hard. But on up here, when he stopped yeah, using a right. But it looks really cool. I it's love it. Building. And thanks to your uh, enemy placement. Cool. And we can't break blocks, which is good. Yeah, that's great. That's exactly what we wanted. Yeah. All right. Well, I think that was that was good. a good session. We played for just under good. two hours. We got a lot done. Uh, and yeah, let's uh, let's continue working on this dungeon uh, next weekend. Bye. Sound good? Bye, All right. Everyone. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank See you. you next time.